So in order to make the RPM LED RGB rev light, you need a few things. First of all, you will need the WS2812B. This is the 5050 version. Second, you will need the Arduino Nano type C version and along with that you will need a type C USB cable. You will need three wires, male to female, some soldering flux, solder wire and lastly a soldering iron to fix all the things together. So in order to make things work, you have to join the WS2812B together. So this is the front side and this is the back side. On the back side you can see there are four ports. There will be two grounds and one in port and one VCC. In is actually the data in port and out is actually the data out port. So what we will do here is that the VCC will be the 5 volt pin and the ground will be the ground pin and for the data in port use a green wire. So what I will do here is that I will use some of the pins from the Arduino and I will join it in this fashion. So basically this will be my flow of data from this side to this side. Data in, data out, data in, data out. Now some troubleshooting. If for some reason your connection is not working or if the whole thing is not working, maybe you have made a mistake in the data series. Maybe you have connected the data out to data out. So this will not work. So either data in to data out and then to data in to data out. First, we will solder the end terminals of the board. Try not to overlap the ground with the VCC or VCC with the data in. Now to add strength to the board, I will use pins from the Arduino and I'll attach it here from ground to ground, VCC to VCC and from data in to data in. Make sure to use ample solder so that the pins doesn't come out and the joint becomes very strong, the board is in a straight line. Now we will do the same for VCC to VCC and data out to data in. The whole thing should look like this. Now it's time to solder the input terminals from ground, VCC and data in. Again, make sure not to overlap the shoulders between ground, VCC and data in. Earlier we used Arduino pins to join the boards. Now we will use the Arduino pins to connect the female part of the male to female wire. The male wire goes to the Arduino board and the female wire goes to the WS2812B 5050 LED. Now it's time to shoulder the male portion of the wire to the Arduino board. We basically need three male to female wires. So looking at the schematics, you can easily identify which wire to connect from the Arduino to the WS12B RGB LED. The data 7 pin, the D7 pin from the Arduino board will connect to the IN pin of the WS12B. The VCC will connect to the VCC and the ground will also connect to the ground. I am planning to use multiple devices on the same Arduino, so don't get confused by the number of wires. So at this point, I am connecting the VCC which is the purple wire and then we connect the grey wire as ground. And lastly, we will connect the blue wire to pin number D7, which is the data pin number 7. And the rest of the pins, green, yellow, orange, red and brown are for the TM1637 and TM1638. Now it's time to fix the RPM LED onto the steering wheel. I will use two screws to fix the whole thing together. It should look something like this. I have mounted the Arduino on the steering wheel hub. If you haven't seen the video of how I made the steering wheel hub, click on the i button above to watch it. Now connect the wires from the Arduino to the RGB LED. Now it's time to upload the Arduino code from the SimHub software. Go to single Arduino and start from scratch. I'm reloading my settings to show you what I have actually done. Select WS2812B RGB LED and select 16 LEDs. Select the data pin number 7 and select the GRB encoding and reverse LED order on. Now select Arduino Nano Old Bootloader, select the COM7 USB port and click on Upload. When uploading finishes, click on OK and close the dialog box. Now if you encounter a not connected problem in the Arduino Nano, then head on to my description, there will be a file, download it and install it and that should actually solve the issue. Now to configure the RPM LEDs, head on to the RPM LED tab. Here you can increase or decrease the brightness. Set the brightness to around 4 or 5. Now open the test data editor. Here you can configure the RPM by sliding here just to see whether it is working or not. 
You can also turn on other options like bit limiter on, in bit lane on, ABS active, TCS active. You can also turn on yellow flag and red flag. To add more effects, click on add effect and you can see here add ABS active and also you can add TCS active. Don't forget to change the color of TC to blue and ABS to red. So congratulations, your RPM LED is ready to hit the track.